Chapter 3 Advanced Features of Word 2016 Chapter Connect Header and Footer Footnote and Endnote Tables We have learned that MS Word 2016 has many exciting features that let us create Word documents, edit and format them with ease and efficiency. Word 2016 has many more exciting features like header and footer, footnote and endnote, and table with which we can give a professional look to our documents. MS Word 2016 also has a wonderful feature called Mail Merge that offers us sending customized mail-to-mail -mail recipients at one go. In order to understand all this in a better way, let us read this chapter. Header and Footer You can make your document look professional by utilizing the header and footer sections. The header is a section of the document that appears in the top margin, while the footer is a section of the document that appears in the bottom margin. To insert a header or footer, select the Insert tab. Click either the Header or Footer command. A drop-down menu will appear. From the drop-down menu, select Blank to insert a blank header or footer or choose one of the built-in options. The Design tab will appear on the ribbon and the header or footer will appear in the document. Type the desired information into the header or footer. When you are finished, click Close Header and Footer in the Design tab or hit the Escape key. Cyber Fact Headers and footers generally contain information such as the page number, date and document name. Editing or deleting header and footer To edit or delete header or footer, following steps should be followed. Step 1. Double-click in the header or footer area. Step 2. Edit or delete the required text. Step 3. Click on the Close Header and Footer button in the Close group of the Design tab. Adding Page Numbers Word can automatically label each page and place it in a header, a footer or in the side margin. You can add page numbers to an exciting header or footer or you can insert page numbers into a new header or footer. To add page numbers in an exciting header or footer, Step 1. Select the header or footer. The Design tab will appear. Step 2. Place the insertion point where you want the page number to be. You can place it anywhere except inside a content control field. Step 3. From the Design tab, select the Page Number command. Step 4. Click Current Position, then select the desired style. The page number will appear. Footnote and Endnote Footnotes and endnotes can be found at the end of a page or at the end of a document respectively. These are generally used while writing books by writers. They can provide a writer's comments on the main text or give the meaning of or related details about the marked text. The difference between footnote and, and endnote is that footnotes are given at the end of a page whereas endnotes are given at the end of the document. Inserting footnotes and endnotes To insert footnotes and endnotes, following steps should be followed. Step 1. Place the cursor where you want to insert a footnote or endnote. Step 2. Click on the References tab. In the Footnotes group, click on Insert Footnote or Insert Endnote button. Type the required text for the footnote or endnote. Step 3. Double click on the footnote, endnote reference number to return to the document. Editing Footnote or Endnote to edit the footnote or endnote, following steps should be followed. Step 1. 
Click on the footnotes or endnotes to edit or format the text. Step 2. If you wish to change the position of the footnote or endnote, click on the footnotes launcher in the footnotes group of the references tab. The footnote and endnote dialog box appears. Step 3. Make the desired changes and click on insert. Tables. A table is an organized arrangement of data, text, numbers, pictures and other objects, which consists of number of rows and columns. The intersection of a column and a row is called a cell. Data in the form of text or graphics can be entered inside the cells. A column is a vertical series of cells in a table, whereas a row is a series of data items placed in a horizontal line in a table. The table given here shows a record of pullovers kept in a garment shop. Size, Color, Price 26 Black, Blue, Brown 180 28 Blue, Gray, White 200 30 Blue, White, Black 230 32 Black, Blue, 240 Cyber Fact The table shown above is 3x5 table as it has 3 columns and 5 rows. Creating a Table To create a table in MS Word 2016, we first open a Word document and place the cursor where we want to insert the table. There are two ways to create a table in a Word document. Using the Insert Table Grade option, Step 1. Click on the Insert tab. Step 2. Click on the Table button in the Tables group. A drop-down grade appears. Step 3. Drag the mouse to select the number of rows and columns in the grade given. Step 4. Release the mouse button to create the table at the insertion point. The table will appear in our document. Using the Insert Table dialog box, Step 1. Click on the Insert tab. Step 2. Click the Table button in the Tables group. A list of options appears. Step 3. Click on the Insert Table option. The Insert Table dialog box appears. Step 4. Specify the number of columns and rows. Step 5. Click on the OK button. A table with the specified number of columns and rows is inserted in the document. Moving around a table, there are some keys that can be used to perform special functions within the table. These are called shortcut keys. To move around the table, use the following shortcut keys. Keys, Movement. Tab, the next cell in a row. Shift plus tab, the previous cell in a row. Alt plus page up, the top cell in a column. Alt plus page down, the bottom cell in a column, Alt plus home, the current row's first cell, Alt plus end, the current row's last cell. Entering data in a table, we can enter text in a table after creating it by clicking in the different cells and typing out the text or numbers as required. To move between the cells in a table, we can use arrow keys, mouse pointer or the, the tab key. The tab key takes the cursor to the next cell. A combination of shift plus tab key takes the cursor to the previous cell. Modifying tables. We can perform the following task 
to change the layout of the table after we have inserted it in our document. Adding a new row or column, deleting rows or columns, splitting and merging cells, resizing column width and row height. Adding a new row or column, while creating and making entry in a table you might need to add columns or rows in between, Word provides the facility to add new columns to the right or left of any existing column and insert rows above or below the selected row. To add a new column, select the column by clicking on its top border adjacent to which you want to insert a new column. The Table Tools tab appears on the ribbon. Click on the Layout tab under it. Select either the Insert Left or insert right button in the rows and columns group. An empty column gets inserted in the table as per the chosen option. Similarly, click either on the insert above or insert below buttons in the rows and columns group on the layout tab to insert a new row. Merging and Splitting Cells To merge cells of a table, following steps should be followed. Step 1. Select the cells which you want to merge. Step 2. Click on Merge Cells in the Merge group on the Table Tools Layout tab. It will merge all the selected cells. Two split cells of a table following steps should be followed. Step 1. Click on the cells which you want to split. Step 2. Click on split cells in merge group on the table tools layout tab. The split cells dialog box appears. Step 3. Specify the number of columns and rows. Step 4. Click on OK. Adjusting the row and column size. To change the row height, the following steps should be followed. Step 1. Click in any cell or select the entire table to change the row height. Step 2. Click on the Table Tools Layout tab. Step 3. Specify the required row height in the height scroll box in the cell size group. It will change the row height. Similarly, you can specify a new column width in the width scroll box to change the column width of a column or of the entire table. Formatting Tables Word offers various features that let us enhance the appearance of our table. We can format the text inside the table. Apply stylish borders and around the table or change the background color, shading and style of the table. Formatting text inside tables. We can format text inside a table in the same manner as any other text in a Word document. Step 1. Select the text to be formatted in the table. Step 2. Click on Home tab. Step 3. 
From the font group, we can format the text according to its font type, size, style and color. Step 4. For alignment of the text, we can use the paragraph group in the Home tab. Adding borders to a table, the lines we see in a table grid are the same borders you can apply to text with the border command, which determines where the lines go. Items on the draw borders, patch, items on the draw borders group, set the border line style, weight and color. To select a border, border style, weight and color following steps should be followed. Step 1. Highlight the cells you wish to add a border to. Step 2. From the Table Tools Design tab, select the desired line style, line weight and pen color from the Draw Borders group. Step 3. Click on the Borders drop-down arrow. The drop-down grid appears. Step 4. From the drop-down grid, select the desired border type. The border will be added to the selected cells. Removing border from a table. Occasionally, you may want a table without any lines. Select the table and choose No Border from the Borders menu. However, having no lines, borders in a table makes working with a table difficult. The solution is to show the table grid lines, which are not printed. To do that, select the table and choose the View Grid Lines option from the Borders menu. Applying Table Styles Word provides a number of table styles that help us to quickly format a table in a number of interesting ways. The steps to apply a table style are as follows. Step 1. Select the table to which we want to apply a table style. Step 2. Click on the Design tab. Step 3. In the Table Styles group, scroll through the gallery of the table styles and point at each one to see a preview of a table with that style. Step 4. Click and select the desired style. The style will get applied to the table. To sum up, MS Word 2016 has many exciting features that let us create Word documents, edit and format them with ease and efficiency. Header is a text that is printed at the top of each page and footer is the text that is printed at the bottom of each page in a document. Footnotes and endnotes can be found at the end of a page or at the end of a document respectively. A table is an organized arrangement of data which consists of number of rows and columns. We can insert tables in a Word document by using the insert table grid option or the insert table dialog box. We can enter text in a table after creating it by clicking in the different cells or typing out the number or text as required. Word offers various features that let us enhance the appearance of our table.